everybody. This is breakfast time again. Hallelujah. Happy new week and happy stress-free week in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This morning, without wasting much of our time, I want to quickly share with us from the book of Genesis chapter 37 to be and 39, 10 to 20. 39 is a little bit lengthy. I'm not going to read. Hallelujah. But I'm just going to tell us the story. 37 to be, I go. I read. He said, but Joseph reported to his father some of the bad things his brothers were doing. Hallelujah. Then in Genesis chapter 39, 10 to 20, you know, after that 37 episode, 38, the brother sold him because of his dream and his constant, uh, uh, that the, uh, his, his father's care towards him. So they were jealous and envious about him. They hated him the more. And the guy began to have more dream. Hallelujah. And finally, he was sold into slavery. Hallelujah. And he got to Mr. Potiphar's house. The Bible makes us to understand that he found favor in the sight of Mr. Potiphar because he's a special child of God, committed to God. Hallelujah. And God, through Mr. Potiphar, showed him favor. And the Bible says Mr. Potiphar handed over everything to him except the wife. But along the line, Mrs. Potiphar saw Joseph Ah, this guy is looking too handsome and he can be a wayside boyfriend. And Joseph declined and rejected his offer. How if I beg your pardon? She became very furious and she had to frame Joseph up. The Bible makes us to understand that Joseph was falsely accused and he was sent to prison. And uh, when he got to prison, nobody turned up for him. Permit me to title this topic. This is a message, sorry. This message committed to God in respect of the situations. It's going to be serious. Hallelujah. Committed to God. The word commitment means pledging your loyalty. Your loyalty to God and his principles. We all stand, some of us that are married. I remember I did my own in church. So we pledged our vow to one another for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, in riches and in this and that in death to us part but in this contest in this contest we are talking about pledging your loyalty to god in respective of all situation one of the symptoms of those committed to god is one they fear god number two there's true evil and that is what the bible makes us to see in the life of job he said job is a man that fears the lord and he has true evil hallelujah praise master jesus joseph was committed to god Joseph was a committed man of God. He was so committed to God and to God's principles. That is why he told Mrs. Potiphar, he said, I can't do this evil against God. Hallelujah. Are you committed to God, my brother? One of the symptoms that you are committed to God is that one, you fear God and you, you hate evil. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't play with evil. You don't, you don't encourage people to do evil. Instead, rather you expose evil. Praise Master Jesus. And the Bible makes us to understand him. He said, Joseph was a man. I wrote here, I said, Joseph was a man, loyal to God and his principle. He always seek an occasion to represent God. He never blamed God, though he has gone through painful situations. Another, another symptom of the man that fears God is he never blames God. We can see that in the life of Job. He never blames God for whatsoever comes his way. Why? Because he understands the plans of God towards him is of good and not of evil, but to give him an end, to give him an expected end. Hallelujah. To give him a future, a hope. Joseph never blamed God. Praise the Lord. My question is, are you committed to God? Are you committed to God? As we look into, as we look ourselves in the mirror of God's word, we will see and we'll be able to to evaluate and judge ourselves if we are committed to God. Joseph suffered false accusation. Did he sleep with Mrs. Potiphar? Did he harass Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Potiphar? No. But that was false. He never turned his back on God. So many of us, we are committed to God when all things are rosy. No, my brother, my sister, if that is the kind of commitment you are having to God, when all things are rosy, God is your father, is your, is your, is your God, 
then you have to have everything. Joseph never blamed God. Joseph never broke his covenant, never turned his back on God when he suffered injustice, when Mr. Potiphar cast him into the prison. Joseph never said, God, why me? Never, never blamed God or never turned his back on God when his brother sold him. Today, you may not be literally sold. You may be betrayed. Hallelujah. Joseph never turned his back on God after interpreting the dream for those men and told them, whosoever, when you are free, please remember me. And they never remembered him. Many of us today, we, we, we trust God so much, but when something just happened, you begin to say all manners of things and you begin to react in all manners of way. Examine your commitment to God. Commitment to God is in all circumstances. And let me tell you one good thing. Whosoever is committed to God, God is committed to the person. And God never abandons a man. He said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Joseph was not bothered about his dream because he understands God is the, real, is the reality in every dream. He understands that God is the, is the Alpha and is the Omega. He realized that God has everything mapped out. He understands the plans of God. He understands that all things are going to work out his good irrespective of what is going on. My dear beloved friends, as you go through this week, if you have made a commitment to God, stay on it. Let nothing make you compromise and it shall be well with you in Jesus Christ's name. But before I go, I want to invite you to our breakfast seminar, November 1st, 2019. It's a public holiday. It's in the morning, 10, from 10 o'clock. Hallelujah. Till 1 o'clock. Praise the Lord. It's a breakfast uh, seminar and the team is financial implication and church management. I'll be attaching the poster along with this video. So my dear beloved brothers and sisters, please stay focused, stay on God, and God is watching your back. Shalom.